Bada dum ba dum ba. It's Hoovy Poopy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, I examined the metal Oopa, the boy while he was watching us his light with the same Rhinet machine. Oh, uh, a normal Oopa. He looks Can at my- have a fucking line? He looks at my metal Oopa in resentment. I turn to see my eerie sparkling eyes also fixed on the Oopa. Well, at least when that happens again, we won't have to think of voices because you say the same- Hey, high school girl, everything. you're acting like a little kid. <laughs> Yay, no. metal Oopa. Hmm, I guess this creature of metal to you, my eerie. Honestly, I don't want it. <gasps> really? Are you sure, Ogreen? <laughs> the name is Ho-In-Kyoma. Ho-In shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ocarine! I love skimping off you! She's doing it on purpose. Thank you all for coming to Dr. Nachibura's time conference press machine. I hear the announcement coming from the floor above. Sounds like they're starting. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. That was weird. How many episodes is this? I think this is the third one. Alright. Are you not having fun? I am having fun. I'm just good. Glad. Because we're doing this for forever goddamn more. <laughs> but Mahari doesn't follow. Oh. Let's go, Mahari. Uh, eh, just a sec. I gotta write my name somewhere. She's preoccupied with the Metalupa. I go ahead. Without further ado, I am pleased to present the inventor, Dr. Nakujitabatamana. Please welcome him with a big round of applause. You suck! You're a penis! <laughs> Someone forgot the pizza! One time I raped a camel! I ordered a pizza! I got spatted on by a llama because he gave it to me an apple! I'm seriously thinking this pizza's late. I hope they give me that discount. Hey guys, guess what? I jerked off! <laughs> Pancakes! <laughs> My turn, bitch. I don't care. I love that joke. <laughs> Dr. Nakjabari enters to it. Can you, like, reverb that, that applause so it sounds like a thousand applauses? Sure. Can you Manfred von Karma those lines? Okay. All right, hang on. I'm going to say it now, and if it doesn't reverb, I'll fucking hate you forever. Mm -hmm. I probably just reverb the it now part. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He walks up to the podium. He's already wearing a frown for some reason. I can feel his irritation from here. I am Dr. Nakabachi. Thank you all for coming. Nakabachi takes the microphone and begins to speak, his voice brimming with confidence. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin with my theory of time travel. The greatest sight, fuck you. Did he really build a time machine? Here he appears after writing her name in the metal Upa. She's a bit late, in more ways than one. What did she think a time machine presentation would be about? I take another look around the room. There are about 20 people now, including us, but still no media presence to speak of. So the extent of Dr. Renakubachi's fame, no one believes that he invented a time machine. I was interested in what he had to say, true. My expectations were no higher than the rest of the onlookers. It's a good thing they weren't. He proceeded to explain his time machine designs. My curiosity quickly turned to disappointment, then anger. <laughs> DOCTOR! <laughs> My roar silences Nakabachi as he fucking draws the... Uh, f Do you take us for fools? Who the hell are you? Who the hell am I? Someone who knows you are a fraud, that's who! It's great that you're such a narcissist to say you have to skip her from my line. You stole this theory from John Teeter! Yeah, you call yourself an inventor? So, someone throw this man out, but... Can you please stop doing that? I'm not doing it. Yes, you are. You're the one who should be thrown out, doctor. Have you no shame? You have the right to call yourself an inventor. Shut your mouth, you little pest. Shake. Just then, someone grabs my arm from behind. Quickly convinced this is official here to throw me out, I turn to glare him down. Unhand me, you! <sighs> Dan? Yeah, that was me. Dan, look who it is. I know. Do you know who it is? It's fucking Carisu! Look at her fucking tights and shit. Does that make you feel offended? <laughs> look at her fucking coat that Okabe hasn't stretched out yet, so it doesn't make any fucking sense. Yes. <laughs> It's a girl, about my age. 
Her intent stares me down to challenge me. I take a step back. See, this is not the way she was in the fucking anime. In the anime, she was just cool and like, yeah, I'm a fucking scientist because I can actually be smart and shit. And then later, it just gets you like, oh my god, my vagina. <laughs> That's pretty much how he gets. Her face somehow familiar. Where have I seen her before? Ah? Uh-huh. We haven't met, but I know her face. It's Makike Kurisu. A few days ago, my friend Daru showed me a magazine article and called it... Jesus Christ, that's a long-ass name for a fucking magazine article. (laughs) The article was about a 17-year-old girl who just graduated from an American university. Her thesis was published in a major scientific journal. Girl genius Makike Kurisu. I recognize the stubborn-looking... Makise. I said Makise. You said Makike. Makise. You keep saying Makike. Makise. Say say it, then. Makise. Good. I fucking just said it! No, I mean, whenever you say the line, you say Makike. Genius girl Makike... Genius girl Maki Ki- <laughs> Genius girl Maki K. God! <laughs> you say Maki K. <laughs> Maki K. Maki K. Say Kurisu. <laughs> I, hope I recognize the stubborn looking girl from her photograph. <laughs> She's even wearing the exact same scowl. It's not a scowl. That is a scowl. What business, what business would such a genius have with me? She takes a quick look around the room and then turns back to me with a, with a stern expression. <sighs> Can you come with me for a moment? What's with the attitude? She's obviously not staff. There's no way the Mackie... Say. Mackie Say, Kurisu. <laughs> would you be working with someone like Dr. Nekibaka Jim? Which means no. <laughs> You're with the organization. Uh, huh? Their tendrils have gone this far. I've made you a great mistake. Um, stop fooling around and come with me. Uh, the hell? My outburst has already attracted too much attention. Her tie is really fucking red in this. I know, it's like bleeding. <laughs> it's like the Hitman tie. Yeah. Dan, fucking edit fucking Agent 47 to be Kurisu for the entire fucking series. Sure, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> Nakabachi is particular. is in particular. Looks like he wants to rip my head off. Must be mortified. Exposed as a fraud by a brilliant young man as like myself. Anyway, I mustn't draw any more attention to myself. If the organization gets wind of my presence, it could endanger my eerie to say nothing of these ignorant civilians. I'm going to die. <laughs> Makise Kurisu leads me out of the assembly hall. They keep making me say Makise Kurisu, the whole name. I just want to say Kurisu or Makise, and it won't fucking let me. <laughs> <laughs> Try anything and these people are sure to notice. That's what your superiors will say then. What are you talking about? She glares at me, quiet fiercely at that. Attractive though, there may be no innocence in her eyes. A beautiful agent, unmatched in cruelty. My heart bleeds in acceleration for the danger. Looks like chaos really does get the blood pumping. (laughs) I just need to ask you something. What makes you think I'll answer? You know how the organization operates. What's with this organization stuff? Instead of answering, I take out my phone and put it to my ear. It's me. I've been caught by an organization agent. It's Makise Kurisu. She's a dangerous one. No, it's fine. I'll find a way to... Uh, I... Kurisu suddenly snatched the phone from my hands. What skill? I didn't even have time to react. What are you doing? Uh, your phone's off. (laughs) Who are you talking to? Her eyes pierce deep into my soul. I quickly look away. The way her face was like, "What are you talking to?" She's good. She's trying to send me. She's trying to attack my sense of identity in order to cause a mental break. Recover. This one isn't enough to sway me. <laughs> Your techniques d- don't work on me, but I'll tell you anyway. It's no ordinary phone. I've decided. D- d- I can't read. I need to learn how to read. Say Maki say Kurisu. Maki say Kurisu. How come you can say it without text, but when there's text, suddenly it's Maki Kei Kurisu. Maki Sei Kurisu. It's like the easiest fucking Japanese name to pronounce ever. Mm-hmm. Phoenix Wright. It's like mispronouncing Light Yagami. Like, this, what? That's from Death Note. Light. That's the main character. Of Light Death Nagame? Note. Maki Kei Kurisu? Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's designed to deactivate the moment it leaves my hand. <laughs> that's very smart of you. Such measures are necessary to maintain secrecy. I've known things that could get me killed. I quickly retrieve my phone and wipe the cold sweat from my forehead. 
<laughs> that was close. So you talk to yourself. Huh? <laughs> that bad? Ordinary methods don't work on Maki Cake, who did the genius girl. On the contrary, she's psyching me out. Damn, looks like I'll have to make a tech t t t retreat. If I could just find an opening. Like her boobs or her vagina. Boobs don't have an opening. They can if you want them to. We're gonna rape her face. <laughs> She's Christ. <laughs> oh, Suddenly, Kurisu steps up with a serious expression. She stares right at me, her huge eyes blazing with strength of will. The fuck? Such fire, I cannot look away. This is strange. <laughs> Could someone with such pure eyes be an organization agent? The fuck? This doesn't happen in the anime. <laughs> what were you trying to tell me earlier? Earlier? So what are you talking about? That oh. was me. What are you talking about? About 15 minutes ago, before the conference started. Nonsense. This is the first time we've met. Me and Mayuri were playing with an Upa toy 15 minutes ago. <gasps> no. See you guys next time, bitch fuckers. Jesus Christ, I was loved. Okay, bye. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs>